Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, we talked about client roles, admin networks, and the Meshtastic Python command line interface, or CLI. We want to accomplish setting up remote administration because my rooftop mount uh, Helltech V3 is up under the eaves and it's running power saving mode, so Bluetooth is only awake for the first 60 seconds after a reset. And now it's sealed in a box, and I don't want to have to open the box and press reset a bunch of times. So we want to enable remote administration, and that requires the Meshtastic Python CLI. Yeah, this guide here has a bunch of different commands that you can try in the CLI, but we're going to accomplish the installation of the Meshtastic Python CLI in this video. Yeah, I know I've got my serial drivers installed because I work with the Helltech V3 all the time. And I know for a fact that I do not have Python installed on my computer because I'm just not a coder. <laughs> I consider myself more of a hardware integrator. Yeah, I write code. Mostly I scrape it off the internet, Google searches, etc. Yeah, we'll follow this link here to python.org. Click on the download section. I'm using Windows. Okay. Yeah, we'll use the Windows 64-bit installer. There it is right there. I've already downloaded it. I'm just going to right-click and run as administrator. That just gives me the extra juice. You have to answer yes to the prompt. Okay, the most important thing is click on Add Python EXE to Path. That way, Windows will know where the Python executables and scripts are without you having to change directory to it. And you see it's going to go to app data, uh, local programs. We'll see that path again after the installation. Yeah, I saw some videos recommending for the installation of Python to go to all users, which would put it in C programs. And the problem is when I did that and then went to install the Meshtastic plugin, the Meshtastic plugin still wound up in app data in my profile. So that was outside of the Windows path. So Windows didn't know where Meshtastic was. So just follow along here. Don't do anything with the, the paths. Just make sure that you've selected add Python exe to path. This installation takes about two minutes. So we'll crop some of this out. Okay, the installation is complete. Now, it's kind of counterintuitive. You'd imagine that I'm going to run the Python terminal, and that's going to enable me to continue to install Meshtastic Python CLI. But actually, this terminal is essentially, it's like a program command interpreter. It's not for running executables or scripts. It's for typing program commands into the terminal. Like you could type 2 plus 2 and hit enter and it would return 4. But you see here, it doesn't know what to do with pi-v. I tried, you know, various commands and it just comes back with that same type of error. Yeah, it, it, it wants program commands typed there. What you do want to do on Windows 11 is right click on the start button and select the terminal. I run it as administrator, so I have all the juice. And you want to open a command prompt tab. I don't know how PowerShell will handle uh, these Python commands. So we want to use the uh, command prompt. And there's the Python paths, app data local programs, Python, 312 scripts, and 312. So now we can check our Python version, Python dash capital V. Now the article says you might have to install PIP3, at least you have to check to make sure it's installed. It comes with the later versions after version 3.4. Well, we'll just check to make sure it's installed just the same. PIP3 dash capital V, and you can see it's installed. Okay, so we need to go on and install PyTap to pip3 install dash dash upgrade pytap2. I'm just going to copy it from here. Now, I, I didn't pick up from reading this article that you were supposed to use the command prompt. That's why I tried the uh, 
the Python terminal right away. Okay, so we got PyTap 2 installed. So now we're going to pip3 install dash dash upgrade mesh tastic. And these are all going to wind up in that same path, underneath that same path as the X Python executable. I've done this so many times, even though I deleted the folders in between, it looks like it has a catched copy of the mesh tastic installation there. Something like that. But your experience will look similar to this if you're following these instructions. Just waiting for the installation. There we go, it finishes. So now we can type mesh tastic dash dash help. All right. So now we're ready to create that admin channel and begin remote administration. The cool thing about the remote administration is, yeah, I'm in power saving mode, my Bluetooth's off, but I can use the Meshtastic Python CLI to interact with my Helltech V3 up under the eaves over the mesh. So I don't need to connect Bluetooth to program it or uh, read uh, any of the debug, etc. So we're going to get into remote administration next, so you're going to want to stay tuned. Of course, look for the links in the description down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Meshtastic on Helltech V3, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.